talking Fox Carolina sports. It is game day for the Paladins. Our sports director Beth Hool with the Furman football team in Montana as they prepare for tonight's FCS quarterfinal game. Yeah, hello from Missoula, Montana. You guys, I'm joined by Craig Clark, Director of Sports Medicine for Furman Athletics. And uh, we've been talking throughout the last couple of days about some of the different preparations you guys have done. First and foremost, those heated benches we see behind us. That was an important piece, and that's not only important for guys to be comfortable, but also for their safety as well. Absolutely. Lots of logistics have gone into this trip a little bit different. Uh, the conditions are going to be a little more harsh than what we play in in South Carolina. So again, there's a company called Big Fog and it's turnkey. You just call them, uh, make sure their folks know where you got to go and they come in and set the benches up and they operate them. Uh, but again, they have them on their sideline, so we're going to have them on ours as well. You've also made some other adjustments. We talked about the chicken broth that you're going to be adding. What's the benefit of that for the players to have something warm in their stomachs at halftime? Typically, we have water and Gatorade available at all times pregame, halftime, during the game on the sidelines as well. Uh, some of my colleagues that are in some of the colder climates, this is something that they do. And again, it, it, it's almost like a warm version of Gatorade. There's lots of salt, so it's going to help maintain their hydration, but also keep them good and warm. So we've got uh, several things to make up some chicken broth in the, in the locker room. So we'll have it again pregame, halftime, as well as during the game on the sidelines. And that's just some of the pieces that have gone into all of this. You said there are so many preparations, just the teamwork that Furman has had um, and the support that you have had. I just was wondering if you'd like to touch on some of that that you guys have been able to utilize to make this as successful a trip as possible. Absolutely. Uh, a company we couldn't do it do without uh, is Smith Dray Lines in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, Bill Turrentine and their family owned the company and have since 1911, I believe. Uh, he's a Furman graduate, class of 1990. His father played basketball at Furman. His grandfather went to school at Furman. They have stepped up big time. Uh, on Monday at about five o'clock, we left out with all of our equipment, all of our coolers, uh, everything from sports medicine equipment to videography equipment. So that's been a huge help. Typically we drive our own equipment, but I think it's, it, it's a good 34 hours of solid driving. And, and certainly that was uh, out of the realm of possibility for us uh, the way we normally handle that in-house so we couldn't do it without folks like him. Thank you so much Craig for your time. Uh, just uh, one of the families, many families that are back home cheering on the Furman Paladins. They kick off tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time against Montana here in the quarterfinals of the FCS playoffs. For now reporting for Fox Carolina Sports, I'm Beth Hool. Oh yeah, best of luck to Furman and our sports director Beth Hool will have that exclusive team coverage for us. Those behind the scene moments as well leading up to kickoff tonight at 9 o'clock. And of course we'll have post game two. Fox Carolina, your station for Paladins All Access.